Downtown Caldwell is getting ready to put up parking meters. Some community members, as you might imagine, not thrilled about this new addition, but some businesses say it will help boost their business. Brenda Rodriguez joins now to break it all down. Brenda. Yeah, well, Justin, the city of Caldwell says that cars have overstayed in parking spots for way too long, limiting the flow of cars coming in and out. So they hope that these meters will help circulate cars and just like you mentioned, bring in more business. From its plaza to its small businesses. It's becoming a popular place to be. The town is growing and changing so fast. And with growth comes changes. They're doing the best in bringing the new in and keep the old. Part of that change is paying for parking, something visitors will have to start doing in downtown Caldwell. We focused on meters primarily on the core of downtown as opposed to some of the peripheral areas. Caldwell's economic development director, Stephen Jenkins, says it's for the benefit of local businesses. To help support the turnover of vehicles and allow those businesses downtown to, to, to do business yeah. and to have, have uh, vehicles or, or parking spaces available for their customers to come in and partake in their business activities. And small businesses like Bon & Bevel's coffee shop agree. What I see a lot is people just parking and they stay, and which is fine. We want people to come and partake, but we need to have some cycling of customers because there is a premium downtown. Owner Heath Albers interacts with community members on a regular basis, but he says not everyone is on board with this new plan. There's feelings of frustration on, on many sides, a mixed bag of kind of seeing the point of having metered and also kind of concerned it might kill the drive to come down. Jenkins says they are working on rolling out the first phase to help address these concerns. Allow it to work work through the community and obviously get the get the get the community used to the concept of paid parking and then we would continue to, to grow upon what we've established. Jenkins says the plan started with charging one dollar and fifty cents to now scaling back. We're considering now a dollar per hour just to make sure that it's palatable for the community to accept and, and we can work through some of those numbers as we go, but we want to start as low as we could and make it affordable as we could for our, our citizens. With that money being put back into the city. We want to enhance surveillance. We want to in, improve lighting services downtown, those types of things. So we just want to continue to make sure that it continues to go back into downtown Caldwell. And with Caldwell's winter wonderland right around the corner, those not wanting to pay will still have some options. So we have options. I, I think if, if you want to come downtown and you don't want to pay, then there's areas of downtown where you can park and you can just walk into the interior. And as Caldwell continues to grow, Jenkins says they will always keep their community in mind. We're going to continue to work through the challenges that we have, and we're just excited to see where the, de the new developments and the, the new season of Caldwell is going to lead us. And Jenkins says that the city has been taking comments and communities' concerns into consideration, and they're hoping to roll out meters in phases by the end of the year. So, Justin, it is fast approaching. We have two months left here. Awesome. Yeah, people need to get those cards and those little dollar bills ready. Brenda, <laughs> thank you.